I'm a big fan of the Silly Symphony shorts, and most of them could be described as quite peculiar or quirky, but the Pelican and the Snipe is exceptionally odd, and one that I, I can't work out quite what their intention was. I haven't read too much around this, basically just watched it, and that's it. So if you know what they were trying to do, please feel free to let me know. I'm sure I could give it a Google and find out more, but just basing it from what I've seen, it's different. This was released in 1944, so it's one of the later Silly Symphonies, directed by Hamilton Luske, with, uh, written by Del Connell. And this focuses on two characters, Monte and Vidi. Monte is a pelican who flies in his sleep, and his friend Vidi is there wide awake every night watching over his friend Monty to make sure that he doesn't sleep fly into a catastrophe. And Monty doesn't really appreciate this quite simply because he doesn't know this. Monty wakes up every morning completely unaware of the fact that he has been sleep flying and completely unaware of the fact that Vidi has been up all night trying to look after him. And he gets a little bit antsy when Vidi wants to stay in bed all morning. But of course, Vidi is exhausted from being awake. And then their friendship is put to the test as Monty gets a little bit annoyed at Vidi's sleeping. And then a little bit of a catastrophe happens and it tests their friendship further. It's really interesting. It's a little bit comical. Um, certainly when Vidi is... There's a sequence when Vidi is trying to think up of ways to keep Monty in place, to prevent him from sleep flying. And I, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed the animation style. In terms of the setting, it's not that brilliant. Um, it's set on top of a lighthouse. And there's not much to look at other than the birds. It's not the most visually appealing. The, an the animation style is nice. And the editing, the editing is very good. But the actual visual quality um, or the interesting aspect of the visual element is not that great. I didn't really care too much for it. In terms of the narrative, yeah, it develops quite nicely. I didn't know where it was going. But ultimately, I still, you know, I watched it and kind of thought, what was that? And obviously, when we look at the fact that it was 1944, I'm fairly sure given a certain something that happens as it progresses, I can't go into more detail than that. I'm pretty sure there's a war theme running through there, which I will investigate at some point in more detail. Did I enjoy it? I watched it with a raised eyebrow. I did enjoy it, but I'm still left not really sure if I liked it or not enough to ever watch it again, except if I'm trying to analyse it for whatever reason. It's not my favourite. Would I... Would I recommend it? Yes. I have to say, I really liked the the narration. It's a proper storytelling silly symphony um, starring Sterling Holloway. The, the, narrative, the narration aspect of the narrative, I liked. Things that were happening, not so much. But the approach, pretty decent. I think The Pelican and the Snipe is one you need to check out for yourself to fully experience it. And I think checking it out is probably... Uh, probably worth doing. It's pretty unique. 